Are FedEx workers stealing PlayStation 5 consoles? This is this is very interesting. So I found this thread on Reset Era saying, is FedEx stealing new consoles or are gamers overreacting? Uh, they're, they're doing a little poll for it. Some people say, say it's, they are stealing it. Some people say you need to be patient. But let's look at the actual reports because PlayStation 5 is obviously a hot ticket item that many of us are going to have a hard time getting, myself included, until summer of next year. Well, let's actually look at what's happening or what, what's being claimed to have happened. So here is a, a post on Reddit saying, FedEx workers are stealing PlayStation 5 consoles. Just a warning for all of you who may be looking to order a new gen console. Uh, be aware there are dozens and dozens of incidents being reported all around the internet of PlayStation 5s going missing or lost. PlayStation 5s being shipped from specifically FedEx. It is outrageous, and it seems like nothing is being done about it or even investigated by FedEx. I'm unfortunately one of those people. I ordered a PlayStation 5 from Sony Direct, and they use FedEx. My package was supposed to arrive, and it was out for delivery from morning till evening, where it changed to pending. That would be the last time I'd seen any activity of my package. FedEx customer service is like speaking to a wall. It, they don't care, and they won't do anything about it. In theory, you can get a replacement if you contact the retailer, in my case, Sony, but screw that. If you can get a refund, hold on to your hard-earned money and wait until retail has some in stock. For proof, literally just type in FedEx stole PS5 on Google or Twitter search bar and look at the recent complaints. It is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen from FedEx. Makes it all worse that the drivers or workers to get away with it without zero care or concern is being shown from um, FedEx themselves. You know, Xbox consoles are also reportedly being stolen at a high rate by FedEx workers, FYI. One of the clips on the web shows someone receiving a resealed empty box just unreal these incidents have been way too consistent for them to be a coincidence update after sitting pending for a while my package was falsely delivered on a day and time that i sat outside waiting for it opened up a case from both fedex and sony and once i got the driver's name i will be filing a police report and hopefully put an end to this i'm also trying to get video surveillance from any stores around me for even more evidence more similar incidents regarding FedEx and stolen missing falsely delivered PS5s are being reported from Twitter users by the minute. Still, for some reason, they are delusional people that think this isn't a huge red flag and this is not an internal theft problem that's occurring. Blows my mind, really. All that I want to do is help people before this happens, so feel free to share this around. All right. So what did they say to Google specifically? They said to Google... Uh, let's see here. FedEx stole PS5. So we're, we're going to, we're going to do that right now. We're going to Google it. Let's open up a new search here. All right, Google. Let's type in FedEx stole PS5. See what happens. So his post is number one. Uh, we have slick deals talking about it being happening. We have uh first responder frustrated. You can't get the PlayStation 5. He ordered Uh FedEx stole my PlayStation 5 and Sony sucks. Uh, YouTube video there. Uh, customer accuses FedEx. Uh, how to prevent stolen packages, but ironically from FedEx there. Uh, the Reset Era thread, uh, GameFAQ thread, Twitter. Let's let's actually go, go on Twitter here uh, and see if there's anything in particular on Twitter we can find about this. All right. Um, let's see here. Cool. FedEx Ground driver stole my PS5. <laughs> the guy dancing there. Um actually stole my ps5 let's face it this is an unprecedented year this is back in october so that's not really related um yeah i guess there's a lot of people talking about it i guess it, it, it's kind of an issue that's coming up so let's let's go to more reddit reports on this day five of ps5 being delivered but still waiting on it. is this the same person uh let's see here nope this is a completely different person i'm on day five waiting for my playstation 5 that said it was delivered saturday but i'm still waiting on it what would cause a package to be marked as delivered to someone, but they haven't received it? Would this be a system error or an error on the package handler's fault? Just trying to learn more and keep hope alive that I'll eventually get my original console. After reading through these threads, I don't want to believe that a driver stole it. Uh, that just seems very unlikely. And this person says, same boat, was delivered Sunday. Um, you know, got, got a few comments here. Um, 
have you called customer service? I just threw in the towel and called Target for a refund. Mine was delivered on Sunday, and I was doing more investigative work than the track team, trace team that was maybe assigned to my complaint. I highly doubt the driver stole the package, and the employees here tell you that it may be a system error where your package was meant to be delivered but was never on the truck and could be going through the shipping process again at distro. I talked to a very honest person at my distro center, and she said they have been fielding a lot of calls about missing PlayStation 5s in the area. She's not sure what is going on, but I appreciate her candor. At this point, I'm chopping it up as a loss. Um, looking at the comments on this thread, uh, I have zero reason to stand up for this crap company, but 99% of consoles arrive just fine. Even lots of people who were complaining a few days ago have now received their console. Yeah, it's possible they could get stolen, but unlikely. If you really believe it was stolen, contact Sony. They have the serial number and can disable the console. This is what I'm waiting until I grab one at the store. 1% loss of a $500, $500 is happening, then it's time to retire. Uh, yeah, not to speak of what happened. My Walmart order and my brother's order from PlayStation Direct arrived with no issue. Stores like Target are being reported that have the PlayStation 5 name uh, display label on the outside of the box. So, I don't know uh, if that's true, the outside of the box thing. I say this because um, I, I, don't, I can't speak for PlayStation 5. I have had an Xbox Series X arrive from Target that I reshipped out to somebody, and that console did not have a label or name of the system on the outside of the box. It was just a typical Target brown box. Uh, there was no, no nothing indicating on it that it was an Xbox Series X. So I'm not so sure about the claims that, oh, the Target ones have like this, this big label that says it's a PlayStation 5. I don't actually think that's true. Because why would it be different for my package versus any other Target package? Uh, I, I have my mom who orders from Target all the time uh, and online, and they don't have any labels on the packages. You don't know what it is till you open it. So uh, I don't I don't know that that's really the case. Um, this person claims to be a, a former uh, Sony employee here. Impossible role. Sony can't disable consoles. Um, let me see here. Stop parroting this BS. I'm a FedEx driver. Most of us seasoned drivers wouldn't do something like this. Why? Because we're not douchebags like you assume. I'm making upwards of 70k a year doing this, and to risk it for a $500 game console, game console, absolutely asinine. The fact that you're even assuming that a driver would steal it without any proof is absurd. See, we got to give both both sides of the argument here. You guys realize the drivers don't work for FedEx, right? It's more like the, the drivers as the workers are under cameras and security and could not easily pull something like that off. It's the drivers that work for the service providers, if anything. Interesting. Interesting. Um, maybe stop using a bot to buy PlayStation 5. Uh, let's get to another claim here. Thanks, uh, thanks FedEx for supposedly delivering my PlayStation 5. I'm doing absolutely nothing to fix it. So your refund has been issued. A refund in the amount of the $498.50 corresponding tax amount has been approved for the items below. This amount will be credited back uh, to your original form of payment in 7 to 14 days. So this is someone who got a refund for it because FedEx never delivered the package. Here's the thing. We are in a pandemic, so there's going to be some weird things. There's going to be shipping delays. That's all expected. Like sometimes you'll get your two-day shipping from Amazon, and it comes on day three or day four. Uh, sometimes you'll you'll pay for next day air, and you really get it in two days instead of the next day. There are there have been a lot of shipping delays thanks to the pandemic. So that is something that I think people are are, are willing to accept shipping delays. Like yeah, it's a little upset. You know, you you pre-ordered a launch console, it's not there on launch day, it's not there the day after, but you know maybe it's there a week later or two weeks later. It sucks, but people are willing to accept it. What they're not willing to accept is when a, a company, you know, a shipping company, a popular shipping company tells you your package has been delivered as you've been sitting out on your front porch all day waiting for your package to be delivered only to be updated on your phone. Hey, your package has been delivered, but then it's not there. It's weird, right? And What's even stranger, and I, I, maybe this is why we're not hearing about it from UPS. I don't, I don't get a lot of FedEx packages, but UPS, I got to give UPS a, some credit here. So, um, I ordered a, uh, a a Xbox Series X that I got um, you know, through uh, not sorry, not a Series X. This, this was a, a a different console launch, like like a PlayStation Four or, or Xbox. I can't remember. Hey, this was a while ago. I ordered it through. Uh, Amazon or whatever, and it came via UPS. All right. Well, I'm a I'm a UP. I have a UPS account and everything. The UPS account on the day of delivery gave me GPS tracking of the of the delivery truck. So they would be like, "Hey, your package is going to come," you know, at some point today before 8 p.m. But I could literally track 
the truck itself that had my package on it. So I knew exactly where that delivery truck was and where my package was. I don't know if FedEx offers this service. I don't order enough packages through FedEx. Maybe they do, but I just know that, hey, I was tracking my my package all the way to my house. So I knew when I had to be at my house. If I was out to lunch, I could literally be glad I'm like, oh yeah, dude, the guy, the guy's like, you know, within a couple miles of my house, I probably should get home, uh, if, especially if I have to sign for a package. So I think that, that, that that's why we're not hearing about this happening with UPS because UPS offers this tracking service where you can't really falsely deliver something because the customer can track the actual truck to know if it ever got delivered. So I think that there is um, some some issues here with FedEx. Obviously, there, there's some issues uh, with how they're ran in general. Uh, I'm not saying that like uh, an overall FedEx delivery driver that does it for a living, you know, that, that that's working there every single year, all year long. I don't think those are the kind of delivery drivers you would think would steal a package because, again, you know, not only are there multiple security checks for them, and yeah, they could drop off a package anywhere along the route and just, you know, have a, have a buddy help them out, but... I think the the bigger issue is that these guys make good money. They're not going to risk their job over a five hundred dollars system. They'll just wait like anyone else until it's in stock and buy it for themselves. But but I will say there are such things as seasonal workers. We are in the month of November. Seasonal workers have begun. Seasonal workers are temporary workers. These are not permanent employees. The seasonal workers don't make as much money as the permanent employees. There are employees that tag along with these seasonal workers. So uh, these seasonal workers potentially could be the ones that are stealing. Now, they would still have to go through the same metal detectors, and they would obviously have to have some sort of system set up uh, where you know they're delivering the package or claiming they're delivering the package, but they're dropping it off somewhere else, and the main driver is not double-checking because, heck, maybe it's a seasonal worker they worked with before. I have no idea. So there is a possibility this is happening. I think the more likely scenario is someone is messing up back at warehousing. So the package is never actually getting on the truck, but the delivery driver doesn't want to be seen as responsible. Like they'll go to deliver a package and they'll go in the back of their truck. And when they're looking for it for the next delivery and they realize, Oh crap, the package isn't here. Did I forget it? I don't want to get in trouble because they, they will get in trouble if they don't fully load their trucks, right? If, if they're missing packages on their truck, they will get in trouble. So they just mark it as delivered uh, in order to avoid getting in trouble. And what happens in cases like that is, and this has already happened with some people who have made these claims, the FedEx delivery does end up showing up a few days later. It's just, it's already marked as delivered and that, that delivery date didn't change. So basically the FedEx employee messed up, marked it as delivered to keep their numbers good. And then they make up for it next time they're on a route that's near your area, which is dumb because you'd be like, why won't they just immediately run it back out to you the next day? Well, they have a job and their, their next route might not be in your area. They might have to go somewhere else. So the next time they have a route in your area, they'll just swing by and drop it off. That is something that happens and it's unfortunate. I think that that's probably what's more likely happening here. I don't think the packages are getting lost. I don't think, I think that there's just so much going on, so much chaos with the pandemic that sometimes packages are not making it onto the truck and they're trying to keep their numbers up so they don't lose their job. So they mark it as delivered and then they bring it next time they're they're on a similar route that's near your house. Uh, so then nobody notices that they're going out of the, cause like they can't go out of the way. They are GPS tracked by FedEx. So they can't go out of their way. So it has to be on a route that's already in your area. Like if there's already a package being delivered on your street that's a great time to stop on by and and drop off that package along the route because you know they could stop anywhere along the street for any number of reasons they might pull over so they could figure out the next stop they're going to they could pull over to then going back and reorganize their packages for the next deliveries all that stuff so again i think that's more likely what's happening but i hear the frustration it's really crappy to have a company that has systems in place that can lead to your package claiming it's out for delivery when it's not actually on the truck and then having it claim it's delivered when they never showed up at your house. I think that is a super, super crappy thing to happen. So regardless of me not really thinking that FedEx is stealing packages, 
I do think that there is a problem at FedEx in general that doesn't seem to exist at UPS from my experience anyways. Again, my experience. I know there's UPS horror stories out there as well. So I'm just throwing out there that, you know what, there's something wrong in how their systems are ran, how packages can even be marked as out for delivery when, we can, when they're not even confirmed to be on the truck. There's just a, a lot of messiness going on. Uh, if there happens to be employees stealing it, I'm not going to say it hasn't happened. I'm going to say it, it's super rare, and it's not going to be your typical FedEx driver uh, because, again, you make good money delivering these packages. And there's a reason they make good money delivering packages because they are handling thousands of dollars worth of packages a day trying to ensure those packages get to people's homes. I realize packages get kicked around in warehouse and all this stuff, but the actual drivers aren't booting packages, right? Like They're actually pretty careful about their package. I've seen them at other houses, you know, carefully bring packages to doors and set them down, heavy ones, you know, fragile ones. Like they're the drivers seem to be pretty careful with the packages. What happens in warehousing happens in warehousing, kind of stays in warehousing. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. You guys let me know what you think about this. Is FedEx stealing? Is this just an overall frustrating situation because we're trying to get a high demand product? Let me know down in the comments below. I'll catch you guys in the next video.